What's going on, guys? Well, this is another YouTube video starring myself, Reverend Sackett. Now, on this video, I have a very specific and very controversial thing to talk about. It's something that I have mentioned in a lot of my other videos, and that is the legalization of drugs. Now, if we take a look at our country, we realize that the only legal intoxicant is alcohol aside from prescription medications which are not intended in any way to produce euphoric effects even though they do but they're not intended for people to get high off of the only uh... product that is manufactured that is intended for people to get high off of is alcoholic beverages now alcohol as we all know is probably the worst drug of all it is the most intoxicating it is probably one of the most addicting, one of the most physically addicting, one of the most dangerous drugs. You hear of so many deaths every year attributed to alcohol, car wrecks, DUIs, DWIs, so many things are caused from alcohol abuse. But you don't really hear too much about drug abuse. Now, if drugs were to be legalized, certainly not all of them should be legalized. In my opinion, and this is really not an opinion, this is more of a fact, the worst drug of all time is methamphetamine. Not prescription methamphetamine made in a laboratory, real methamphetamine, the crap that these people make in basements with fucking brake cleaner and ammonia and phosphorus and God knows what else. This is not a drug, this is a fucking poison. You would not believe the damages that meth can do to someone's body. It rots their teeth out, causes them to develop these god-awful sores. It's horribly malnourishing. I can't believe that meth doesn't kill somebody after the first time they use it. Horribly dangerous drug. And people are so hypocritical in America because they criticize people who smoke marijuana or do other drugs while they're sitting there smoking a cigarette and taking a drink just because they're legal. Did you know that tobacco and alcohol are actually classified as hard drugs. Very few people know that. Now, marijuana should definitely be legalized. And we've all heard the reason why certain drugs aren't legalized. The reason that we've heard that they're not legalized is because the government can't figure out a way to tax them. I don't understand what's the problem. Just make it illegal for dealers to sell it, put it in stores, sell it, tax it. You solve the problem. Now, marijuana should be legalized. Pain medicine should be legalized. It is legal, but it should be made more available. There are so many people who are in agonizing pain that cannot get pain medication because their doctors won't write it to them because they're afraid they're going to get addicted. Well, here's my response to that. People have to take medications every day for the rest of their life, and as long as you can get the medication, what's wrong with being addicted to it? That should be left up to the individual person. The government keeps on and on and on, outlawing this, outlawing that, telling us that they know what's best. It's not good for us. It's not up to us to hurt our body, so the government's going to make it illegal for us to do so. Let people decide for themselves what they want to do, even if it's something that harms them. If the government lets us drink, why not smoke a little pot on the side? Now, cocaine and crack. Cocaine, um, I wouldn't have a problem with it being legalized, but it should be controlled. It should be controlled. It should be very, very minute and it should be, there should be various laws making it illegal to sell cocaine without a license or without owning a store, and crack itself should be completely illegal because crack is a very, very a dang dangerous drug. It's very addicting. It takes everything you have. Intravenous drugs should definitely be, um, maybe not the drugs, but the actual act of using them intravenously should definitely be made illegal because it's not the drugs necessarily, it's just the fact of using the needle can cause bad infections, it can cause horrifying infections. I myself used to be a needle user, and I remember that by the time I quit using a syringe, by the time I got off of needle drugs, my arms were god-awful. And you can still see the scars of all the various needles that I used, and those should definitely never be made legal. LSD. I think it should be made legal, but it should be made illegal to leave your home on the drug. Ecstasy. Ecstasy is a very dangerous drug because it dehydrates people, it eats up all their vitamins, and it'll cause people to have heart attacks, drop dead. Maybe it should be legal, but very controlled. But the bottom line, these drugs should be made legal. And I'll tell you what would happen if they were legal. People would no longer have to steal money to go pay ridiculous prices to buy their drugs. So you wouldn't have drug-related crimes. 
they would go down drastically. 